Hey everybody, welcome to Fishing Planet. My name is The Lady and today we are in rainy New York and we're fishing for walleye. So as you can see I've got one right here. It's almost one and a half kilograms, 51 centimeters and it gives us 54 experience points. Mind that I'm uh, on my premium account right now so I get uh, plus 28. So uh, when we go check my net, um, we've brought a third of the uh, experience points and then you get what you, uh, the XP that you'll get normally. So uh, we're going to keep this one and well I'm going to show you guys first what I've caught so far. So these are my catches. Uh, I caught a yellow perch and a grass pickerel as well and then here is the walleye. So what I've done is uh, I've used narrow spoons. I did try it on shads, uh, but given the setup it's a bit harder uh, to have it uh, balanced perfectly. So um, that's why I uh, afterwards I stick with spoons. Uh, because it's a rainy day I choose uh, yeah, the silver narrow spoon and uh, the dark one, the black uh, narrow spoon. Um, to where uh, to catch these. So as you can see here, uh, weight is between 1.1 kilograms and then the trophy is 2.1 and almost 2.2 kilograms. And the rewards, money wise, this is a pretty nice fish to uh, go after if you want to grind money, especially here in New York. Uh, as you can see, a grass pickerel only gives 4 and then a perch gives 5. And uh, note that this is actually a bit of a small grass pike, uh, but still. And XP wise, well as I said, you have to withdraw a third, so this one of one point, uh, almost 1.6 kilograms uh, on a common account, uh, it will give you 60 experience points uh, instead of the 90 here. And then here the trophy walleye will give you a little over 100 experience points instead of 158. Uh, but still, it's uh, it's an awesome fish to, uh, to grind uh, both money and uh, experience wise. So, um, Right now I'm standing at the Dog of Peace. Now we can also fish for them at Midland Charm, but first off I'm going to show you guys uh, where you need to be. So uh, the Dog of Peace, here we are. And um, back in the old days, um, what you could do is uh, here we have this huge tree and you could just aim for it, uh, cast out and um, there was a method that you could actually cast out further, it was by doing so. So set your read, um, reel on uh, the mi speed on minus and then you could let your lure uh, go even further. Uh, that's been fixed, so we can't do it anymore. So um, if you have a setup that can reach 60-65 meters, uh, by all means go towards here. And what you do is you throw out as far as possible and then you reel back in. And between 60 and around 40 meters is where uh, the walleye is. So uh, with this setup I can only throw as far as 51 meters. So it means I only have 11 meters left. Now what you can do is uh, stop and go. But uh, it would take me like 5-6 uh, times uh, to reel in. Uh, some line and uh, then I'm out already uh, out of the zone where uh, the walleye is. So um, if you can't cast it far uh, here's what we'll do because there's another spot that we can uh, go after for walleye and I'll show you guys my setup uh, after we've done this. So uh, a second spot where the walleye is is if we look over here, we have this tree and then a sort of a reddish tree over there. Now in between these two, well, uh, this tree actually, uh, the one next to uh, the little bigger one. So between this tree and the reddish tree. So what I do is uh, I cast over there. And again I get about 51 meters uh, uh, far out. And then between 51 and uh, about 28, 27 meters is where the walleye is. So just cast about here, so that gives us uh, a little over 20 meters. And use uh, stop and go. You can also use lift and drop. Um, right now it's a straight and slow, it shouldn't do that. Uh, but anyways. 
So at the moment you hit around 43, 42, 40 meters, depending on how far left or right uh, you threw. Uh, what happens is uh, the bottom uh, climbs up a little. Uh, and you also get a couple of snacks if you're not careful. Um, so uh, that uh, really can uh, can throw off your game like you see right now. I'm uh, doing a stop and go but it says straight and slow. And that's because uh, when the bottom uh, goes up, of course your lure also uh, gets dragged up a little bit. And uh, then uh, you can't do a, a proper stop and go because there's too much uh, slack on the line. So uh, that's a bit of a downside. Uh, still just keep on going, uh, lift and drop, so hold your left mouse button for one second and um, release it and wait for another second and then hold it for one second and release it afterwards for uh, a second and wait. So just like this and there we go. So right now I'm using uh, the black narrow spoon um, the 1.0 also use uh, the silver one. Uh, those are the two great types that you can uh, use on uh, cloudy or rainy days like it is today. Now walleye uh, you can catch nearly all day long on a rainy day here in New York and on a sunny day you can catch them as well. Uh, then I would advise to use the narrow purple spoon and uh, or the narrow golden one. So there we can also already see its uh, uh, end dorsal fin, uh, the one that's on sitting on the back. And here we go, a nice walleye of 1.1 kilograms and gives us 42 experience points, which is awesome. So we're going to keep this. Um, so as I said, uh, rainy days you can fish them the uh, almost the entire day long. Um, I noticed that uh, between 5 and 6 a.m. I didn't get as much bites. Uh, starting at 6 and 7 p.m. I caught a lot. And the trophy I caught also uh, between 7 and 8 p.m. Uh, a.m. My, uh, my bad. Uh, on sunny days it's uh, in the early mornings between 5 and 7 a.m. Uh, that you uh, can catch the walleye. So that's the spot for, uh, for standing on the dock. Uh, now we're going to Midland Charm because we can reach uh, the same spot also from here. So if we come over here, the spot that we are after is right about here. So here you see this tree lights up a little, a bit big one, and then here there's a small one. And then here again you have a bit bigger one. So in this area is where you can also fish for walleye. If you have low level gear you'll notice that there's a little pads over here and you will get a lot of snacks. So to avoid that what you need to do is walk all the way up towards the left just like so. And as you can see right now we can aim past the lily pads and then retrieve our line alongside it. So that's what, uh, what I'll do. So just about here so where we need to be and again it's between 50 and uh, say 27, 28 meters which is uh, where we need to be and already we got a snack. Uh, so that's one of the reasons why I prefer uh, using braided lines uh, on this setup. I don't think I'm using a braided line but you will get a lot of snacks here. So again uh, close to 40 meters we get uh, that the ground is uh, lifting up as you can see right now it's says straight and slow it doesn't even come off the bottom uh, just continue doing your uh, stop and go or your lift and drop and there we have the second snack so we're now at 26 and then I set my real speed to 4 and to reel in the last uh, bit and then we do it all over again so that's pretty much how it works so I'll show you guys my setup so right here I'm using a jig winner 240 with a wind cost 2500 which has a max rack of 2.9 kilograms uh, mono open 23 millimeter line which is uh, 2.7 kilograms test uh, uh, does it have and as I said, <coughs> excuse me, narrow spoons have um, 
work uh, the best for uh, for the walleye. Uh, medium spoons work uh, every now and then. Nano spoons too, um, but never spoons are uh, are great to uh, to use. Now, as I said as well, uh, shads and um, grubs work too, but you really need to uh, have it balanced. And especially when uh, you notice that we already do get some trouble with a narrow spoon when we use a lift and drop or a stop and go technique. Uh, you will even get it more with uh, using jig heads and uh, sheds or grubs or worms. So um, uh, unless you have a very balanced uh, uh, balanced type gear, so um, either tweak with the reel or use a different type of line to have um, sort of like hard contact with it, so that it actually does go up and down the way you want it. Uh, only then will you be able to uh, to catch a lot of walleye. So uh, that's pretty much it. As you can see right here, we already uh, uh, only fished for like uh, 40 minutes, I think. Uh, real life time, I caught nine fishes and rewarded reward of 240 bucks already. So if you want to grind money and experience in uh, in New York, go after the walleye. Um, that's pretty much it. For now, I wish you guys happy days, tight lines, and I'll see you later. Bye bye.